I'm Amanda Neary uh, from Cork Live TV, standing in Cork at Creeve, and it does feel a bit historic to be on this, such a stunning pitch but after months of waiting of the reopening of the new Porky Cueve. Cork Live TV. Yeah. So just want to say how you feel about being back in Pork, Cork, oh, Porky Cueve again. Looks fantastic. Ground looks great. Pitch looks good. Fine evening. Hopefully the rain will stay up. What team are you supporting? Well, I'm supporting Blarney. My son is captain tonight, David. So. It's fantastic. So, yeah. David, what's his surname? David Walsh. So it's spectacular to be here at Porky Cueve, the first match. Uh, on the new pitch, of, which has been months and months in preparation. But everyone here is astounded at the beautiful arena. And uh, the first players to touch the pitch are uh, Blarney and Valley Rovers. Could you tell us uh, who you're supporting today? We're supporting Valley Rovers tonight, yes. And we're delighted to have the, the opportunity of, uh, you know, to be nominated to Blarney and ourselves to be contesting the first uh, official game here in Parky Keefe. It's a momentous occasion, isn't it? Historic. Fabulous. We're very proud to, to, to see the day, right? Yeah. It's a credit to the county board member, say that. I'm delighted. Are you a regular supporter? Yes, I am. Um, you know, I know most of the guys on the Valley Rovers team, so I'd have taught a lot of them. So, you know, I wish them the best of luck tonight. What's your name? <laughs> Jack. Jack, and who are you supporting? Uh, Valley. Valley Rovers. And do you know somebody in the Valley Rovers? Uh, yeah. Who's that? Uh, Chris O'Leary. Is he good? Yeah, he, yeah, kind of. <laughs> you play yourself? Yeah, I play. Yeah, I play football and hurling. Yeah. What's your position? Um, midfield. Yeah. Are you looking forward to the match tonight? Yeah, yeah. First one on the new Porky Cueve. You delighted? Yeah. It's good as Dublin. I've heard and people say. Better. The only stadium in Europe now that meets all the standards. Cork, so number one we're, again. We're number one again. <laughs> <laughs> we're ahead. Thanks. Thank you. Are you delighted to be at the first match of the new Porky Queen? Yeah. Do you play sport yourself? Yeah. What do you play? I play ladies football and kamogi. Hi there. Could you get your opinion what you feel about being at the first match of oh, the new Porky Queen? Fantastic. It's a beautiful, absolutely very impressed. And what, then. what team are you supporting today? Well, I'm from Tipperary, but live in Cork, so I'm so slow from next Saturday now to the prayer and clear match. That's what you're really waiting for. Uh, Hi there, can we get your thoughts on how you feel about being at the first match of the new Porky Queen? It's a fantastic stadium. Looks brilliant, the views are great. So you're impressed, you're not disappointed? Oh, not at all, no. A couple of red seats would have helped though. <laughs> As always. Hi there, would you like to say a few words about what you feel about the new Porky Cueve here today? Oh, it's fantastic. It's magnificent to look at it, isn't it? Uh, we'll, we'll see it now before all the Tipperary people see it. Get there first and make your judgments now. Yeah. Are you, will you be at any of the matches at the weekend? Oh, probably, oh yeah. I'd like to see the You're Tipperary. You're a regular. Yeah, yeah. So I've just met Stephen Hill, who's coming to Porky Creef since the 70s. How do you feel about the new pitch? Fantastic all together. Oh, my God. I just couldn't believe it tonight when I came in. I know, no, I can barely remember the 70s when I came here. But heard of, but, um, I've been here for the last game in 2014 there, when we won the Munster title against Limerick. But, I'm here with the Lord Mayor and it's a pretty historic moment, isn't it? The first match on Parky Cueve, the new revamped stadium. Yeah, it's a fantastic to be here this evening in Parky Cueve for the first game uh, between Valley Rovers and Blarney and it's a really hot, historic occasion. I'm delighted with the big crowd, it's really packed. 
Um, and uh, I think everything went smoothly on the way in with a few little hiccups here or there. But overall, everybody got in fine and safe. And it's a very good game. Um, and uh, wish both teams the very best. But I think really it's uh, on and off the pitch. It's a night for the county board to celebrate with this historical a uh, huge development, the centre of excellence here in, in Parky Keeve, and it's a wonderful occasion. You'd be coming here yourself as a boy, would you? I uh, haven't played it's now. Sky. Well, I remember the athletics, the athletics ground when um, when we used to come down to the Mon Harty games, the Mon North Mon Harty and uh, the Dean Ryan Cup games, and then of course when Parky Keeve was open. Haven't played on it now at all, but uh, delighted to support. Uh, uh, the Cork team, whether it's football or hurling. Yes. Will you be here for the weekend matches? I'll be here. I'll be following uh, the Cork footballers on Saturday in Limerick for the Cork and Mayo game, and back here then on Sunday for the for the second game. Look at the young people out there playing. You know what a fantastic opportunity for them to play on a fantastic stadium here. So congratulations to Gorky and you in Parky Key, Vargas Thanks very much, okay, Lord You're selling the first program for the first match of the new Parky Key. How do you feel about that? Tired. 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 Is it a long it day is. for you? It is a long day, but yeah. it's a good day. So what do you think yeah. of the new stadium? Oh, fantastic. Yes. Brilliant. It's up to expectations? Beyond expectations, I'd say. Um, so what do you think of the new stadium? It's absolutely fabulous. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic, yeah. It's up to all your expectations? Absolutely. And yeah. uh, are great... you supporting a particular team tonight or just neutral? No, just came in neutral, just yeah. came in to see the stadium, basically. A lot of people have. It's yeah. been very impressive, yeah. the turnout, Oh, isn't absolutely it? very yeah. impressive, yeah. How do you feel about the new pitch today? Absolutely fabulous. It's great great to see all the Cork people down here supporting in the open. Yeah, it lives open. up to expectations. Ah, sure, listen, it's fa fantastic. It's it's just a reward for Cork, really, you know, such a real GA place. So it's um, it's magnificent. We'd just love to be 20 years of age again, but unfortunately, we can't turn back the clock. Yeah. I feel like you've been coming here since you were 20 years of age, have you? <laughs> yeah, we yeah. have. We have, I suppose, come here since we were 20 years of age, and it was always our ambition to play here. Play here. And now it's going to be. But you've had lots of successes ambitious. yourself. I've heard about oh, we footballer. Have, yeah. We have great, had great successes here. But it's yes. great now that the young people have something to look forward to playing. Hopefully, big finals here over the next few years. And it's a great turnout of young people as well as uh, obviously people that have had an association with you and Parky Cueve. There's a, quite a lot, lot of neutral young people coming tonight for just to be here for the opening of Parky Cueve. Actually, listen, it's fantastic for city and county and. Uh, you know, for the visiting teams to come here as well, I'm sure the weekend it'll be it'll be a massive buzz, and uh, I'm sure when people come in here, we'd love to come back again because the facilities are second to none, and you know we look forward to the to the months and years ahead because I think it's going to be very very successful. You know. Uh, do you have an involvement now today in GA still, or what, you, what is I'm your still association? I'm involved with Nemo Rangers yeah, on the 16s. Okay. Yeah, it's great. And how are they doing? We're getting ready for championship. <laughs> So we'll be interviewing you about that in a few weeks' time, I hope. Anyway, thanks for speaking no, to us. I appreciate no, it very much. Yeah. Thank you. My husband is chairman of the county board, Geraldine. Really? Yeah. Well, that's a really fortunate yeah, just meeting. My daughter, she's too shy. So your husband's the uh, uh, chairman of the county board, so you definitely have to make appearances here yourself. Definitely, so. definitely. And uh, are you supporting a particular team tonight or just neutral because it's oh, the neutral. first match? Neutral. Are you supporting a team tonight or are you just neutral? Uh, just neutral. I'll go for Blarney now because Mark Coleman. Yeah, everyone's going for Blarney too, too near Cork. Not to. Delighted to be with Councillor Mick Flynn, of course. And uh, what's your feeling of the new Porky Creeve Stadium tonight? Uh, well, look, it's a fantastic uh, stadium. It's my first time seeing it this afternoon. Uh, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's a huge day for Cork. It's a huge day for Cork GA. It's a fantastic facility. It's going to be brilliant for our games, but also for events and for concerts they get here next year. So, you know, it's a real timely asset for the city and for the county. And I think it's going to, you know, it's going to be a huge success. It's great for the young people. They're saying there's a, n a wonderful turnout of young people for the first night, just as neutral onlookers. Ah, know? yeah, and it's great to see people going around wide-eyed. You know, you know, before you'd have to go to Crow Park in Dublin for something like this. Now we have it on our doorstep. And it's fantastic for the next generation of Cork hurlers and footballers and camogie players and lady footballers to see this facility here. It's just fantastic. Yes, and are you sporting man yourself? Have you associations? Oh with the yes, GA? I'm involved with the Bars Club for years. I've played. I coached hurling and football in the schools. I've county medals. I played hurling and football, and I played hurling in. Uh, 
um, Sydney in Australia. So uh, I'd be a big GM, and, and uh, it's a very proud moment for me and for the, for all the clubs involved as well. It's just you know it's just it's really I suppose it's equivalent to when the, the stadium was open in the 70s, yes. uh, and now this is a, a stadium for a new generation. Yeah, a new so it's fantastic. It's fantastic. Yeah, it's a new phase. Yeah. So um, yeah. you're a successful man with all your medal winning yourself in your own history of GA. Yeah, we had a good we had a good innings back in the 70s and 80s. Yeah, we did indeed. Yeah, so. Played it's many great times to be here. Yourself? Yeah, I have played. We played in the opening game here in '76, so um, we had a tradition from that. So broke my nose the same night, so I won't forget. Yeah. A bit of nostalgia seeing the new face. Ah, it's of fantastic. Queef, yeah. It's fantastic. Yeah, there's been a fantastic. Uh, the whole thing is a credit to everyone involved and uh, to the county board and to the vision that we have seen ahead and. You look out at the training pitch there, it's a full size pitch, so it's fantastic. So I was very really impressed with that, but I thought that was the pitch when I came in. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, yeah. So that's only the mini one really. But it's a full size pitch, yes. it's bigger than Crop Air, but it's been a fantastic uh, achievement for everyone and credit to Frank Murphy and to everyone who was involved, you know. And yeah. uh, it's lived up to expectations too obviously. M more everyone. I suppose I'd say way more than the expectations really. So mm -hmm. It has been uh, like you look here and you look at the corporate sector and even the behind the goal and no matter where you are here in the, the place you can see the, yeah. the pitch is fantastic, you know. So um, and uh, I suppose you're just in, enjoying sport now. Do you have an active involvement in it still? No, I, I involved up to two years ago, but Jimmy Barry Murphy, you know, when we were involved and uh, not. Not at the minute, so um, so we're take, back and sitting back and relaxing. Taking yeah. the front rows, taking from the, the front rows, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, um, not often enough at times, but anyway, sure, it's great to be involved. So anyway, career-wise, what would you say was your highlight? I suppose uh, the first Ireland is all only our highlights, but we were lucky in the sense when I played, we won three in a row, seventy-six, seven, and eight, and then we went on to win um, eighty-four. Uh, which was the centenary year, which was a special year, I suppose, playing in Turles. And then 86, we beat Galway in the um, uh, final that we were underdogs too, so that was a so great achievement as well. So, yeah, so we had so we had five, we played in seven All Ireland's, won five, so I suppose a great innings, really. When you can. We won nine months of championships at the time, you know. So Wonderful sporting legacy. Yeah, so, so we had a good outing, yeah. Appreciate you speaking to us. Thanks Not at all. Much, Johnny Johnny to meet you. Okay, no much. problem. All right. I'm standing at the newly reopened Parky Cueve and at, instead of the usual 800 participants and onlookers coming to see the match between Blarney and uh, Valley Rovers, we have thousands of people and an unexpected turnout to see the new Parky Cueve. The players are saying that the pitch is stunning to play on. People that have had a long GA history are nostalgic that they're not playing on it. And we have a new generation of sporting fans that want to play on it. So, a uh, lot to come from the new Parky Cueve here. And we look forward to seeing many more matches. So it's Amanda Neary signing off from Cork Live TV.